the Ferguson Report. The Ferguson Report from January 22nd to February 4th. Let's use movies to describe this period for each sign, all of which suggest that honesty is the best policy. Aries. The Social Network was a well-known release portraying a Harvard student's controversial start of Facebook and its associated lawsuits. A lot of this film sounds like what you may experience. Your network of friends and associates are eager to include you in their projects. But you aren't convinced that circumstances won't pull you into senseless conflict with professional contacts. In fact, you seem very wary of the motives of others. This is why your independent spirit moves you to act alone. Maybe some rational introspection into why you continue to think this way is in order. What if a group needed your expertise and you really get along with them and like their philosophy? They are, like you, taking the most direct line to getting things done. Think about the resistance you would be casting aside to deal with some resistant people. You would substitute impatience for step-by-step -step planning, some hesitation for clear reasoning why you were involved in the first place, and roadblocks to progress with the quickest way to get things done. At least the motivation to do something changes you on every level for self-improvement. The social network brought out the worst in the main character as he lost friends because of greed. This is your challenge too. Be honest with people so that there won't be any accusations of dishonesty. Show your group that the leader, that's you, has the skills backed by the integrity of the highest order proving that you can be trusted to help everyone win. Your sign relates to Will Smith as entrepreneur Chris Gardner in The Pursuit of Happiness. The movie takes us through his year of homelessness while climbing the professional ladder as a salesman. You have similar determination that nothing will stop you from achievement. The main character also takes care of his son who accompanies him with no place to live. One lesson we can all learn from your sign and this movie is to project healthy professional objectives. Smith never revealed his living status to any of his employers and even went as far as paying the cab fare for one of them, money he knew he could not afford to give away. It is this same pride and risky financial behavior that puts you into some tough scenarios as a result. Your better judgment will keep you out of relationship problems and money concerns. You might place blame onto others, but these are likely no one's fault but your own unless it's actually the truth. This is especially true with the influence of an uncharacteristically strong need for independence in your life right now. If you hear yourself asking, what is going on in the world right now? Or saying, people have gone crazy. It could be that you remain stuck in your ways, but everyone else is acting out what you really want, a chance to be yourself. Perhaps you have more interesting things to do with your money rather than let some bank make money off you. You want to give new meaning to a well-needed vacation, like an all-expenses-paid luxury week every week for a whole year, or your new associates convince you to invest resources in a group goal. Whatever it is, it needs to shake up whatever you consider that norm in your life, because that is precisely what you need in pursuit of your own happiness. J. 
Gemini. Working Girl was an 80s movie depicting a secretary whose investment idea was stolen by her boss. The main character's explosive confrontation with her boss while simultaneously elevator pitching the idea to her future employer slash CEO is one example of this cycle's potential for you. It takes a challenge or two to push you into choosing a worthwhile battle to fight. You'll find the perfect solution while having fun doing it. The lead actress, Tess McGill, was compulsively driven by anger that someone blocked her ambition to land an executive position. She took matters into her own hands by using information along with independent effort. What you need right now is the same easy combination for your own progress. You may also be motivated by the boredom of daily living and need to shake things up quite a bit. This time will present surprising opportunities, ready or not, motivating you as well. Most importantly, as luck would have it, your popularity and attractiveness gain the attention of the person or persons you need, and they sort of land right into your lap or help you to land on your feet. This is all related to your career advancement and making more money. Tess actually ended up in bed with the guy who became her boyfriend, who also led her to the company that hired her in her dream job. That is the kind of chance meeting under exciting but awkward circumstances that pull you into a faded ending. There's no need to pray that you'll land with both feet on the ground and in one piece. Just as long as the plan is a well thought out one and you share the wealth and exciting adventure with someone else. Cancer. Aha, Cancer. Your life right now is like being the Wolf of Wall Street. I mean, you do have the financial know-how to amass a small fortune, but the main character took decadence to a new level. Like Jordan Belfort, it's easy for you to express yourself. You can be in the right place at the right time, becoming the center of attention, attracting beautiful people with your winning charm and ending up financially successful. The only thing, however, is that you have to avoid deceiving people with charm for your own gain because, like Jordan, it will certainly backfire. In the movie, his connections with friends and associates was the area of life where the action took place. This conflict could have easily been avoided, but every film needs the element of drama, and so does yours. Just choose what you do with the people around you because, for good or ill, you're likely to gain a great deal from them. It will also be a job to keep them happy. No one likes a person who they can't trust to handle something far more important than money. Personal information disclosed that would cause damage to one's reputation and end in ruin. And like you, the stakes will get high between friends, partners, or any associates with whom you make your money. The rewards are substantial, yet the risk is based on whatever choice you decide to make. The moral road is paved with the best intentions, but one of greed, excess, and mistrust is far more enticing. That road is sure to end in a bad place. So which one will you choose? You have a real chance to secure your earnings with the best conduct. Be sure to know the people around you to comprehend your involvement and maintain your good name. Leo. The horror classic Carrie is the epitome of these next couple of weeks for you. They reflect the same influence of an overbearing mother figure dictating your movements under the protection of religion or some other good notion. This maternal influence is only using her life experience to shield you from your own anxiety caused by boredom. The need to break free from the monotony of life may cause unpredictable behavior and accidental harm to you and others. Take Carrie for instance, she just had to go to that party, her prom, 
because she was invited by the guy who she thought really liked her, but was only playing tricks to make her into a fool. Sometimes, the wisdom of women around you who know a thing or two about people can prevent you from hurting yourself, but you have to live out the drama of your own life. Interference from others only makes things worse. People will see you, like Carrie, as some misfit with a unique quality and mock you for it. Should this involve personal relationships, your intense irritation by them will quickly turn into the most dangerous and destructive type of anger that dissipates just as quickly. Why would people drive you to such animalistic instincts? You must realize that your passions do not belong to others. You're in control of these. And as far as those chicks who don't trust in you to lead your own life, be it your wife, girlfriend, female co-workers, close friends, or even your mom, pull out the car to pay for dinner, settle the bill with the contractors back home, and the jet ski rentals all done while vacationing in Central Pay. There, that should take care of it. Virgo. Just a couple of years ago, four friends reunited at a festival getaway in New Orleans. Each fraught with her own personal issues sought to set these aside to simply enjoy the fun they all badly needed. The movie was Girls Trip. But if this were a film starring four guys, some impending conflict resolution would, no doubt, end up the same. You are like Lisa, the nurse parent who needs to live a whole lot more than what she's been doing. According to someone like Din, the crazy, extra turned up friend who shoves Lisa into some outlandish behavior, or something you know you need but wouldn't dare to try without a friend like this. Swinging from rope on a balcony in the middle of Bourbon Street, riding on the laps of strangers, and even grapefruiting someone she just met are all pent up examples of sexual frustration waiting to be freed. And you're number one on the tarmac for takeoff. I mean, if two consenting adults should liberate each other, just don't expect any more than a weekend of enjoyment with that type of action. For longer lasting relationships, be honest like Sasha. She tried to consistently prove to their friend Ryan that Ryan's husband was cheating and that it wasn't Sasha's gossip site that leaked the information. Real friends would never do that. A very important part of your life right now is caution that your urge to merge doesn't turn into abrupt separations like the divorce between Ryan and her husband, business partner Stuart. Ryan, forced to tell the truth, lost a show contract with Stuart, but gained a real one with Sasha because of honesty. And she got the guy for her in the end. What's right and true for you will come to you when you act in the same manner. Be true to yourself, and the money, good friends, and relationships will follow a healthy value system. Well, 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 this should be easy for the sign of relationships, but I'm afraid not. Your life sort of resembles eyes wide shut. The story of a married couple with straying eyes in search of variety to spice up their love life. Remember that the farther you stray, the more likely you are to run into unknown territory. In the movie, Dr. Bill Harford pays for a prostitute after his wife reveals she wanted to leave him and their daughter for another man 
while they were vacationing as a family. Vengeance can be yours in the same way, yet there are far healthier ways to iron out problems between couples. One solution is to visit a sexual orgy party together like what happened in the film. I mean, this is a very extreme example, but at least you can deal with a relationship where the two of you need something different and include each other in an open and honest way. The difference is when one or both of you is tempted to connect physically with someone else. One of you, like the doctor, will react by impatiently straying outside of the relationship. The best part of being in a stable union is that your home and foundation is the strongest there is. You don't need to go elsewhere for anything. If you ask others looking from the outside in, they'll tell you that you have more than most. All you need is some patience. Children bring a whole new meaning and purpose to family and home life. What sustains your union is complete honesty. Healthy couples share how they feel and know who and what they are dealing with. From this, they make quick and easy decisions to move forward, together. Being social with any group of people, harmless flirting, and using an enticing word or two can reset your private relations back to what you need with no interference from spectators. Scorpio. The always fascinating sign of Scorpio and its psychological thrill never fails to captivate the imagination, inspiring both fear and wonder in many. An example of such force is in Candyman, the story of a son of a rich black inventor of a system for mass producing shoes. Candyman's father fell in love and fathered a child with a white woman during the Civil War. A lynch mob was dispatched to cut off his father's hand, power his body with honey, unleash a swarm of bees to sting him, and then burn him alive. The Candyman legend enacts vengeance for the horror inflicted on those who invoke him by reciting his name five times in the mirror. Perhaps not in such gory detail, but this reflects your energy where family allegiance comes first, defending them from open enemies. The main character, Helen, recites his name but nothing happens immediately after. But she soon finds herself caught in a web of kidnapping and murder and Candyman's object of desire. To prevent this from happening to you, you must deeply research your own wealth of personal libraries. In them, they will show you how to protect yourself from spiritual and psychic attack, the breeding ground for suggestive behavior and temptation by evil. The fight for a worthy cause whether to avenge your lineage and or save your people from some destructive event remains important because your strong faith leads you to make some sound decisions that turn out to be correct. Perhaps as you lead your people back from near calamity when all is lost, you'll be able to tell the true tale of a real love story without all the tragedy and horror that geniuses of yesterday truly deserve. Sagittarius. Spoiler alert! A more recent film, A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, involves a writer who must examine his own life with the indirect help of Mr. Rogers, his subject for a new article that would become a cover story. The writer must focus on health issues, his estranged father's terminal illness, and his own exhaustion. 
Your talents involved in the work you do come under review and scrutiny and may cause you the same exhaustion if you don't slow down. The main character, Lloyd, not only works hard to meet his editor's deadlines, but refuses to believe Mr. Rogers is as sincere as he appears. Lloyd has to find something behind Mr. Rogers' genuine disposition. While Lloyd repeatedly tries to find the real deal about him, the TV hosts continuously turned their attention to Lloyd's estranged father, how Lloyd must pay attention to him rather than the glamour of a TV show and its star before he's gone for good. If there is a co-worker or someone who you don't consider worthy enough for your attention, who is asking for your help or forgiveness, you really need ought to answer their call. Commit yourself to focus on this person's need and stick to it to complete the mission, whatever it is. It can be a very important step to help you grow by learning patience and maturity. Running away from emotional conflict can't be the best option when it involves the loss of people you care about. The good that came out of this is Lloyd reconciled with his father and recuperated at Mr. and Mrs. Rogers' home after collapsing in exhaustion at the TV studio. He finally learned what it meant to forgive. You can gain a change in consciousness through fighting and a little time away with a happy outcome and you in the center of social interaction, generous and affectionate toward everyone. Capricorn. Your aspects for this period remind me of the movie How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. It tells how a writer for a women's magazine plans to do just that, not knowing that the guy she is set up with has his own plan to make any woman fall in love with him. This period marks the need to be free in romance. Regardless of one's feelings, there is a terrible fear of being controlled by another. The element of sabotaging the relationship is always present. You could play with love as if playing a game. The gamble in partnership is that there are, indeed, two playing with one of you ending up hurt. The reason? Mostly that one of you creates a codependency reliance on the other, a condition that you or the other feels the need to break off suddenly for fear of getting too close. The problem? L-O-B-E. Love cannot be controlled. In the movie, the writer discovers that she has true feelings for the guy. The emotional conflict that people of your sign handle very well would make other signs run for cover. Love's difficulties might make us slam the door as we leave for good, but your knack for dealing with hard reality makes you in it for real. And that reality includes you looking at what is squarely in its face and dealing with it. The main character wrote her article revealing that she lost someone who she fell for with the consequential kiss and make up, happily ever after movie finale. And that is what you need. Reconciliation, or in other words, kiss and make up. Be truthful about how you feel and deal with it. The longer you try to hide it or harbor the urge to break up the relationship, reality will stop to show you that a real ship has sailed in. Sail on. Aquarius. The need for freedom is your life's overarching theme, especially when it comes to family and home life. One pick that comes to mind is Ray, the biopic of the life of the great Ray Charles. A 17-time Grammy winner among other lifetime accolades, Charles toured on the road most of his life and was reportedly absent for the birth of his first of 12 children because he was playing at a show out of town. Your urges to establish yourself requires a great deal of time for your life's work. The distractions can be overwhelming and you feel the need to get away from it all. Charles was a known heroin addict and suffered through all types of trouble for it, from the loss of his relationships to conflict with legal authorities, both police and court officials. Likely stemming from struggling from the age of 16, Charles knew that his addiction was not more important than the grand scheme of becoming a successful musician. This is your song for this period and beyond. You get a lucky break in the area of self-undoing because you realize that you can overcome any barriers to your goals. So long as you maintain self-control, you can achieve such goals as Charles. Many famed contemporary musicians refer to his as the genius. A true Aquarian term. I mean, who doesn't expect for him to go blind shortly after witnessing his young brother die? Or not expect after being pushed out by his independent mother and at near starvation to be normal? How could he not have dysfunctional relationships all while blind? 
you can clearly see your shortcomings, so there's no excuse for you. If you're in just a fling, then make it clear to everyone involved with you. That way, your conscience is clear and free for all of the inspiration you need to make a name for everyone to know. Pisces. You're in your element during this cycle. Allow this movie title to explain. Official Secret. The 2019 film starring Kira Knightley, who risked her reputation as a whistleblower of U.S. spying on and potentially blackmailing U.N. diplomats who voted on an Iraq invasion resolution. You run the same risk of arousing disputes with staff involved in military or law enforcement in some way or competitors, especially by dangling some secret or hidden knowledge you possess over them. They will likely join forces and try to disgrace your good name. Knightley's strong compulsion to get the truth out at any cost exemplified her need for some stimulation. She could have left the issue alone at the urging of her associates. But, as you may see, too, that your truth, too, must come out. And you refuse to listen to anyone, expressing independence and rebellion in the same way. Like you, there is no problem with the threat of giving up a home and foundation in the country for that of another. Knightley put her husband, a foreign national, at the edge of being deported as a result of her willful actions. So one way that you can safely express your disagreement is to cooperate under some agreement with some reasonable associates, such as defense lawyers or those who believe your story. Get plenty of physical exercise to help you take your mind off the constant battle, for short periods anyway. Another important thing is to always be honest. If you must expose other people's bad deeds, tell the story in full with neither omissions nor additions. Like Knightley, you need to play your poker face to keep open enemies unaware of your next move until the very end.